Today, I'm going to show you guys what I feel is the best trickster build for the end game. We're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what I feel is the best trickster build for the end game. And if you guys wanna see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan-made lore, news updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay, so today was supposed to be an official Outriders lore video, but I felt that this video would suit you guys better for the weekend. Now, I have been messing around with this build for a while, and I finally have everything for it. This trickster build is an alternative trickster build to the, you know, cookie cutter, death shield version everyone seems to be running. Do I have your attention yet? Good. This build does not use a three-piece legendary set because you really don't need it. So, let's go ahead and start with the skills first, then to the gear, and finish everything off with the class tree. So, for the skills we are using, we are using Twisted Rounds, which fill your current weapons magazine with anomaly-infused bullets that increase your firepower by X amount. The skill lasts until you reload or switch weapons. Then we have Venator's Knife, which you throw a temporal knife at the enemy. The blade will ricochet between a maximum of five enemies within a small radius, dealing X amount of damage and marking them. All marked targets will be inflicted by slow. And for 10 seconds, the first damage dealt by you will be doubled. And then last but not least, we have Hunt the Prey, which you select an enemy and teleport behind them, receiving a 3,596 shield bonus. Now, I did everything I can to get the cooldowns of these abilities um, as low as possible. Instead of using Venator's Knife, you could use something like Time Rift or Borrow Time, but Time Rift would probably be a better option of the two. Now, let's go ahead and go over the gear. First off, my firepower is 209,000. My anomaly power is 44.3,000. My health is at 18.9,000. And then my armor is at 51,000. So... For our primary weapon, we are using the Anomaly Effigy. This weapon is a pump action shotgun that is the standard variant. Mine happened to be a god roll from when the devs actually gave out all the god rolls to everyone. So it is at 99.4 thousand. As for the attributes, we have critical damage, status power, and close range damage. The two mods that I actually have on mine are Concentration Blast, which Killing shots cause enemies to explode, dealing X amount of damage multiplied by the maximum number of six enemies within a five meter radius around the original target. And that has a one second cooldown. And then for my second mod, everyone should be running this. It is Dark Sacrifice. Dark Sacrifice reads, during combat, your weapon drains up to 50% of your max health in exchange for a 75% weapon damage bonus. Now. If you don't have Dark Sacrifice, you can use Killing Spree, but Dark Sacrifice would definitely be the better option in this spot for consistent damage. As for my secondary weapon, I actually don't even use this or my sidearm, but I do have a Reaper, and the Reaper also does have Dark Sacrifice on it, as well as Torment and Agony for my um, pistols. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The Reaper and Tormentor Agony are literally just there for looks. When it comes to the gear, you wanna make sure all of the gear is BCC, which is bonus firepower, cooldown reduction, and close range damage. And it actually took me a while to get all of the rolls on this armor. I actually had to do a lot of shopping with all of the vendors in the game. So let's go ahead and get into the mods. For my helmet, the first one we have is Twisted Fate, which applies to Twisted Rounds, which you receive 30% critical damage bonus while the skill is active. Then we have Instant Reload, and this is huge on this build, where when you're using Hunt the Prey, teleporting instantly replenishes magazine in your current weapon. Then we have for my upper armor, Radiation Jump, which again is for Hunt the Prey, which inflicts vulnerable to enemies you teleport behind. 
And then we also have Stare Into the Barrel, which boosts your firepower by X amount for each enemy in close range. And this stacks up to five times. Then for my lower armor, we have Captain Hunter up top, which increases your damage against elites by 25%. And then we also have Personal Space, which grants you 15% bonus to close range weapon damage. As for my gloves, we have Sharp Eye, which killing enemies while aiming down sights grants you X amount of firepower for 20 seconds, and this stacks up to three times. And then we also have Buckshot Shells, which shotgun weapon damage is increased by 10%. And then last but not least, for the boots, we have Bloodlust, which killing shots increase your firepower by X amount, stacks up to three times, and deteriorates every 10 seconds. And then, for our only defensive mod is Mitigation from Death, which killing enemies while aiming down sights grants 45,638 points of armor for 10 seconds, and this stacks up to three times. Now, Instant Reload is heavily needed for this build, and the Yugaki Otara's Cowl is the hardest legendary in the game to get for the Trickster. But when you do get it, apparently, it drops like Skittles after. Alternatively, if you don't like um, the helmet that you have, you can also use Tanner's hat, which has both the attributes you need and two mods that we're actually using in the build. I try to see if I can get away without using a defensive mod like Mitigation from Death in this build, and it definitely didn't work when I was doing Expedition solo. They focus fire the shit out of me, and I died within like seconds of even starting an expedition. However, if you haven't noticed, we aren't using any mods that help out with critical damage because we will be using Hunt the Prey a lot, which teleports you behind enemies, so hitting crits won't be an easy thing. Not saying that you won't hit crits, but this build isn't focused on it. Now, let's go ahead and go to the class tree. When it comes to the class tree, we are using Arms Trick, Ace of Trumps, Death Probability, Shotgun Master, Arms Trick again, Equilibrium, Disruptive Firepower, Arms Trick again, Outrider Executioner, Singularity, and using um, abilities that actually decrease your cooldown is huge because you constantly want to use Valinator's Knife and you also constantly want to use Hunt the Prey as much as possible. Then we have Unforeseen End, Death Probability, Arms Trick, Death Probability, Equilibrium, and this is the actual mod that's going to help you decrease the cooldown on your Hunt the Prey. Then we have Unforeseen End, Bounty Hunter, Oddity Summation, Shotgun Adept, as well as Cold Calculation. Now, all of these skills that we have points in will help you do the max amount of damage for this class. Okay, so why am I using this version with the Anomaly Effigy over the Death Shield one? Well, that's very simple. Death Shield is an amazing weapon, and if you want to use that instead, you can. But... The issue with Death Shield is that it is an automatic shotgun, which is a single target shotgun, while the Anomaly Effigy is a pump action shotgun that shoots buckshot. This is important because buckshot can hit multiple targets at once, and with all of the damage that we do in this build, you can kill multiple enemies in one shot, which is another reason why having Dark Sacrifice on this build really doesn't matter because you are going to be negating the first effect of Dark Sacrifice, which is during combat, your weapon drains up to 50% of your max health. When you kill multiple enemies, you're going to get your max health back fast, as well as a shield. I've had a few friends of mine switch from their Death Shield Trickster to an Anami Effigy Trickster, just because that just made more sense to them. Unfortunately, this build took a lot of time to make because of that damn Yugaki Otara's cowl helmet from which instant reload comes on. I had farmed expeditions for like 10 hours a day for like 2 weeks and still couldn't get it. The frustration was real. 
Like, no joke, I had nightmares about this helmet and the mod. It was ridiculous. Then, it finally dropped, and I dismelled the shit out of that helmet so fast. <laughs> Other than that, this build does insane amounts of damage. During runs, you can see single shot damage of up to 3.8 mil or higher, and at the end of runs, you can look forward to seeing damage in the hundreds of millions, depending on what map you are doing, and if you are in a group that buffs everyone, you can see damage around 270 to 370 plus million. That's insane. I use this build for solo and group, CT 14 and 15 runs, as well as Eye of the Storm. Not gonna lie, my character looks pretty stupid, but hopefully we can actually change that with a few other pieces of gear as long as I get the right mods on them. If I change anything, if the devs nerf or buff anything, I will make an update to this video to show you guys what I am currently running. However, I also want to make an AP build too. I just gotta figure out how I wanna do it, and then when I do make the build, I will post it here on the channel. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Need a place to play Outriders? Come and join the Everything Outriders Discord. All platforms are welcome. You can make new friends. We do free carries for every expedition and Eye of the Storm. Get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and we now allow modded lobbies with high restrictions as well. We have over 350 members and it is growing every day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the video.
about those energy spikes? The insurgents had a functioning power cell down here. What did you do with it? It's disabled. Access granted. I'll see if Zahidi can't take a look at it. Then I found a pod down here. You saved some lives today, Outrider. I would expect nothing less from you. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.